Alright guys, so www.com.com.com is done. So we got the Frankensteinfeld and Mao Zedong. So Kung Fu Theater, let's do it. Now these are some fun levels. We got Defeat the Deadly Dragon and Cross the Rocking Pillars. Oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Scary ass dragon. I'll beat this level, but in an hour I'll be hungry for another. <laughs> I'll beat this level, but in an hour. Okay, that's funny. So it's really sweet little kung fu get get we've got. It's kind of funny. So let's go for it. I think in here may be the entrance to the pillars. Look at these weird ass ninjas. They look really strange, but they're easy to kill. Yeah, I think that leads to the pillars, so we're not gonna go that way right now. I could be wrong, but we're gonna try to get the collectibles in the first try. I like to do that. Any secrets here? Ah. Alright, more ninjas. Very strange looking. Just go around in circles and whip them, so we're gonna get our takeout here. What do we got going on here? Um. Very, very orange. Oh, whoa! Ninja Star Guy. Yeah, you just want to jump when he throws, and then just hit him in him. Easy is enough. So I love this music. It's so, like, upbeat. It's so cool. Hit the gong. There you go. Now, one of these um, Chinese levels are extremely... Shut up, camera angle! Holy shit! Are extremely tough. They, uh... It's maybe one of the hardest red remotes in the entire game. It's, um... So something about climbing a pillar, uh, climbing a pyramid or something. So there's a secret up here, I think. I think it's a silver remote. As you can see, that was pretty secret to get up there. So I think it's cool. Like, this is actually got a secret right here. Look at this. His tail bouncer is really agile. You can really go a lot of places. So there might be a silver remote back here, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong though. Nope. Oh, collectibles is good enough. Three more, and we got the next set. There it is. Silver remote. Nice. Shabam. All right. Doom, doom. All right, we're definitely going to wait. Oh, this guy's kind of big. Yep, just jump around him, hit his head. You got to get him into wireframe mode. You got to hit his like mysticness. Ow! He's pretty good at hitting me though. There we go. He's only worth one. Oh no, three. Okay. All right. Need seventy more collectibles. Uh, well, wait, ninety more collectibles. Holy shoot! But we can do it. Now, if you fall here, you do start back at the beginning, so do not fall. And you don't want the collectibles to fall. You want to get as much every collectible as you can, or else you're gonna. You might be short, especially on levels that are linear like this. It's not very fun to return, you know, so. Take that. Oh, shit! Hey, if you, you gotta jump around, or else he will, go, he will hit you at one point. So I kinda wanna jump over there. So I'm gonna do it. Alright, what's over here? Secret? Hey! We'll go with this. I need that anyway. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is actually my most edited uh, um, Let's Play I've done because I actually, you know, edit and skip out parts when I don't need to do be redundant, which is completely stupid. Now, for a game like I Want to Be the Guy, I think I need to be redundant because it's funnier because the funny part of the game is, is, the, is the multiple attempts and trials that you get from the game. Like, that's why they get, that's why the, um, Let's play is extremely long, but it's going to be an epic adventure when it's, fin when it's finished. It's going to be a masterpiece of mine. It's probably my most famous one, I suppose. I like it, but this may be my most favorite because I'm, I'm, I'm having so much fun playing this game. You have no idea. I mean, it's just... I'll probably have to do D-Cover Gecko after this because it's... I mean, it's just... It's pro it's polished. It's actually a little trickier, but it's it's fun. So let's go push this cannon. All you got to do is push it. There's no actual push animation. You just gonna have to just run into it. And there we go. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else you can blow up. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, that's it. Alright, well. And more we go here. We should be getting to get a checkpoint pretty soon. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Nope, die. You are dead. Give me your yin yangs. Thank you. Alright. So. It, it's hopefully a Thursday when you're watching this, guys. Because, uh. This. Oh, God. Shut the. Fuck up! There we go. Checkpoint, nice. So, once again, if you fall, you 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 fall. It, it sucks. You don't want to fall. Speaking speaking of that, like, oh, son of the speak of the mother fracking bitch shit, son of the bitch. 
Yeah, don't fall is what I meant. Ah, ninja! Yeah, yeah. You are dead. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough of collectibles. I'm gonna be pissed. Well, this although getting to the dragon's pretty big. It's a pretty epic adventure here. Gonna kill these stupid scorpions. They have two hit points. There we go. Oh my, Lowe's trying to have two hit points. Well, yeah, those golden climby things gave me an idea. I know where the silver remote is on the last Chinese level of this game. I don't know, that's very random information, but I do know where it is. Stop it! Gotcha. You are dead. All right. It's what's great is that every enemy in the game gives you at least three, at least most of them, um, three collectibles when you kill them. So that really adds up. All you gotta do is just kill enemies, and you pretty much are getting your collection base. There we go. All right. Now we just gotta get the geisha masks. It's gonna be kind of iffy to get 50 of these, but unfortunately, if not, we're gonna have to get you know more zip line. Woo! Screw off. Um, I don't know if I need any hit points, so I'll just leave that fly there. It works both ways. Zip line part. Zip. Zip line part five. Hiya! 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 Ugh. Collect this shit, don't let it drop. There we go. Because these collectibles actually have a little physics to them, it's kind of annoying. Alright, we are at. We might be getting close to that dragon, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I wanted more collectibles. Hey, you took my thing! That's a really... He looks like the Undertaker from wrestling. I don't know... I don't know if I'm the, I might be the only one alone on that, but, uh... I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. Holy shit! You just... You died. Damn. Man, I wanted your collectibles, man. I'm half... I'm half tempted to just drop down to get all the collectibles. I'm gonna have to redo this part. Ah, whatever. I don't feel like climbing back up. <laughs> Hiya, hiya, yep, you are dead, thank you, and I give you a geisha mask, thank you, and we think this is the dragon. Oh, maybe not, maybe we'll have enough. The dragon's very close though, because I'm at the top of the area, top of the first part of the level. Hiya, die, die, actually the red ones are easier because they're stationary as opposed to the ones that run towards you. You just gotta jump so they, and move around so they don't hit you. But it's definitely a different type of enemy. Like it's on a, this is definitely the harder, harder one. But I think Frankenstein is the more dangerous level, though, on the, se on the second world. Whoa, more ninjas! Give me, give me, give me collectibles! Thank you. This is fantastic. Is this supposed to be tough? Yeah, this this remote is really intense. You gotta fight all this shit, go all the way up here, and then plus checkpoint's really far away. I already got it way back when. But I think I'm very, very close to the dragon. I'm going to be really pissed. Oh, nice, nice. I guarantee you the next, this is going to have collectibles in it. Dragon Kick of Joy! Yeah, yeah! Ouch. All right. Got both silver remotes. I love doing that in the first try. Ouch. A little trippy here. Got a little, like, uh, upside-down shit going on here. It's kind of neat. Can I drop right here? No, okay, I got it. Oh, no. Where are we going here? That's right. My name is King. I see I'm pretty sure the next area is. Oh god. That's that's trippy. Oh, we're in the dragon now. Oh shit. I think it's kind of creepy. So basically, just avoid its flames and then just shoot it when it gets around here. Yeah, it's not that hard. You could even you could try to you try to be impatient and just keep shooting. You could do that. It's kind of a weird thing, it, and it's flames don't touch you if you stay in the middle behind it. But I think if you're anywhere close to it, it does hit you. Uh, you just die like 3,000 times. Oh, there's more collectibles in there? Wow. I guess I did have plenty of time to get here. I, I like when levels, you don't, I like we don't have to repeat areas, like, on for, like you know, digital circuit. I had to actually go through the area um, twice to get the collectibles. Okay, this, I have to time this one now. Yoink! Oh, okay, that's bad. Try one more time. Yoink! Shabam! You're dead. How many times am I going to say shabam? Holy heck. Alright. If you guys can count how many times I say shabam this entire Let's Play, which is going to like conclude in, like I don't know, like five months or some shit. Who knows? Because it, it, like, it only is uploaded every Thursday, so... Barring any unforeseen consequences, it's only it's only uh, uploaded every Thursday. Um, I'll give you a cookie. Um, so... I like how these, uh, <laughs> these vases have Gex's face on them. It's kind of funny. There's even more collectibles right here. Damn, that's awesome. 
Oh, we don't need more collectibles. We got it. And there we go. Red remote. Tackle the red dragon or whatever the hell it was. One red remote. All the collectibles. All of the silver remotes. Fantastic. Hey, we got another uh, bonus level. And this level I remember being kind of difficult. Let's go ahead and break the monotony of this and go to that level. I think it's called In Dragnet. Yeah. In Dragnet. Oh boy. Get the badges in time. This music's really neat. It's like bad boys. <laughs> so I always felt that when I was younger, when I played this game, I always I thought this level was really like gruesome because of that dead body. I was like, wow. But it could just be a hobo. But in any case, this is actually quite difficult, if I recall correctly, to get all of these badges because <laughs> for the fact of how things are spread around. You kind of have to know the route you're going, and I might fail this once or twice, but hopefully not. So first you want to get everything on the street, because if you forget, it's always going to happen where you're going to miss one or two, and you're like, where the fuck is it? So, I think we're doing good so far. So we started with the dead body. Oh, that's a hobo. That's not a dead person. They wouldn't put dead people in the game like this. <laughs> Which is funny, because technically in the, the haunted levels, there are they're, they're zombies and shit, but, you know... So these bus lines, you can, yeah, you can zip line to these bus line things, so keep that in mind. You need to do stuff like this, so I'm going to grab this, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, I just killed myself! Fucking Jesus! Okay, so that didn't work out too well. Uh, we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. Do not go down the uh, black subway tunnel. And actually, in what game is it ever advised to go down a subway tunnel? That's usually out of bounds, and then they punish you by killing you with said subway. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to pretend it didn't happen. I'm glad. I would have missed this area right here. See, that one right there I would have missed. And it would have been difficult for me to find that. So, this level's pretty rad. I, I like it. But, yeah, the um, the overworld of the third Gex game, the uh, Deep Cover Gecko, is really intense. There's a lot of secrets and all sorts of things. It's really neat. Game's quite tough though. Holy shoot, it is. It's very tough compared to this game. This game's not. This game's not hard, but it's not easy as either, especially later. So just get ready for the. Just get ready for difficulty to ramp up. So I'm sure on the other side there's a there's a uh, platform like that gray area there that's I'm gonna need one badge. So so unfortunately we can't zip line back down, but we're gonna have to go around in circles to get that. Looks like we're doing pretty good here. Actually, maybe it was just when I was a stupid kid, I just, you know, couldn't do this. Because this isn't too hard. I just need to get the zip line now. So let's go get that zip line quick. And we should be good, I suppose. I, I don't see any more. Okay, grab this. Turn around. Son of the bitch, fell back down. Alright, is that it? Shabam, that's easy! That was not hard at all. Well, in any case, the next... Catch the train. Oh shit. Mushu pork on there. We're coming, man, we're coming! Unfortunately, I don't know which train it does come through, so... Obviously, it's not this one, so let's go on the other side here. Running, man, I'm running! How many times am I going to go climb up this, this same fire escape by the hobo? A.K.A. drunk dead guy. I mean, if you're drunk like that in the streets, could you imagine living like that? You pretty much would be dead in, in mind and soul, so... You know, what's the point? Nice, got it. Back to the, back to the Chinese. 